Hi, everybody. Happy Bang Bang Con. Uh, welcome to Tail Call Optimization, the, the musical. musical. We are Anjana Vecchiel. I will be playing the role of the coder. And I'm Natalia Margolis, and I will be the engine. We are going to do a musical experiment here with all of you. Um, you hopefully will recognize some of the melodies. The words are a little different from what you remember, but they're all up there. So please, please, you are encouraged to sing along with us. <laughs> all righty. There we go. This recursive function, I wrote it for Bang Bang Con. There's a non recursive base case, and then comes the recursion. Now, when I go try to run it, it works fine with three or four. But given a bigger number, it gives me a big error. Oh no! Stack overflow! Stack overflow! Stack size exceeded, too much recursion, I'm saying no! Why is this happening to me? What does this stack thing even mean? This isn't working, time to go search in Stack Overflow! Each time that we call a function, a new frame goes on the stack. When the call is done, the frame will send its return value back. But stacks have a finite memory, no getting around that fact. If frames pile up one too many, can you guess what we call that? Oh yeah. Stack overflow. Stack is blown. Stack overflow. The stack is blown. I'm out of room here, can't fit a frame here. It just won't go. Looks like I just ran out of luck. It's times like this the coding sucks. I was recursing, now I'm just cursing. Oh, mother. <laughs> the three calls the two, the two calls the one, the one calls the zero. That's when it's done. The zero returns to one, one to two, two to three, and low. 10,000 calls 9,999, and that calls 9,998. And sooner or later, watch that call stack flow. Stack overflow. Stack overflow. It's really no fun when I try to run recursive code. Recursive calls don't love the stack unless we use this one weird hack. An awesome engine optimization called TCO. I'm just the type of JS engine able to do that. <laughs> if your tail call optimized like some engines before, then you can free up old stack frames so I can recurse more. Free to run recursion all day. But I gotta run my code this way. Oh. Everybody look. Everybody rewrite your recursive code with tail calls in the spotlight. That's right. I just looked up what a tail call was. 
It's the last thing that a function ever does. Sometimes your recursive call leaves more work left to do. In this case, I use the result to add a string onto. But if you just return the value of a function call, then we say that calls in tail position, after all. And then I'm in for a wonderful surprise If my engine's tail call optimized If I'm tail call optimized If you want, oh. <laughs> TCO in less than 30 seconds. Looking at the old call stack, I need these middle frames. Otherwise, you wouldn't know just how much work remains. But if you only tail recurse, and I've got TCO, then each time we add a frame, the previous one can go. There's nothing those middle frames must do but pass the return value on through. want to make a function tail recursive, here's a tip. Write a non-recursive wrapper function around it. Add an argument where your results accumulate. Initially, its value will be your old function's base case. Oh, and now we've got a tail recursive way to remember Everybody watch this. Let's wrap it in a little script. Enable TCO then. Pass a big number in. It works! Now it's time to end this nerdy verse. Oh, I just can't wait to tell recurse. A 
whole new world. A whole new world. That's where we'll be. Recursively. We lose the trace. But waste no space in memory. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. You're the best audience. Thank you, Bang Bang Con, for allowing us to do this silliness.